Hi, Tasty Nation, Investor Nation, and anyone who wants to learn how to use stock options safely and effectively and to potentially beat the market in the long run. This video is especially for beginners because I'm going to tell you how a beginner investor beat the market using options. So I've been working with a beginner investor for the past two years. It was one of my viewers, just like you, and I was doing some coaching, I guess you would say. So let's call this beginner Billy Ray. Billy Ray Valentine? Yes. Move it. You made bail. I did. Billy Ray didn't even know what a call and a put were before he started this journey. And after two years, he ended up beating the market. And he also beat my return last year. And he's doing something very simple compared to what I do in my account. And he takes very little risk overall, less risk than I do. So go figure, maybe I should stop doing all my super complex option strategies and focus instead on the simple method that Billy Ray used. Let me know in the comments what you think about that idea. Okay, so here's the performance review of Billy Ray's account over the past two years. He opened his account in January, 2022. And right now we're in January, 2024. So this is a two year journey. He invested in a simple market ETF, IWM, which is the Russell 2000 ETF. And over that two year time period, IWM only had a return of 1% and Billy Ray's account had a return of 19.1%. So he blew the doors off the market. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Here's a chart of his account. IWM as a comparison is shown in green and his account is shown in blue. So he started January, 2022. And now in January, 2024, He's up 19.1%. This is amazing. This is way better than I did in my account. And he only did a one lot. So at any one time, he only had one Jade Lizard or one covered call on in his account using IWM. And I'll talk more about why he chose IWM. And by the way, he took a very hands-off approach to achieve this return. He only looked at his account once a month when it was time to close his current position and open a new position in the next cycle. It's called rolling from one month to the next. He only did that once a month, very little work. And he just relied on a high probability option strategy to carry him to success. So here's the main strategy that he used. It's called the Jade Lizard. This is from the Tasty Live Option Strategy Guide. And I'll put a link to this guide in the show notes. So a Jade Lizard is a bullish position that is constructed by selling an out of the money short put combined with an out of the money short call spread where the total credit received is greater than the width of the call spread to remove upside risk entirely. It's a high probability trade. And here you can visualize the risk graph of how this works. You sell a put below the stock price and you sell a call above the stock price and then buy a call to define your risk on the upside. So there's unlimited risk on the downside. So if the stock price goes down to hit your short put at expiration, you can still win and you still have a break even that's below your short put. And then if the stock price goes below that break even, you can start losing money down there. But that's just for that one cycle. There were many times during this process where Billy Ray had a losing position and he kept rolling it and rolling it. And then he eventually won on that and kept winning and winning as IWM bounced around and recovered a bit. The other strategy that he used was just a very simple covered call. So a covered call is a bullish stock position where you're selling an at the money or out of the money call. In our case, we used an out of the money against 100 long shares of stock to reduce the cost basis of the shares. The short call risk is covered by the 100 shares of stock that we own. So again, here's a risk graph shown here. There's the stock price and you're selling a call out of the money above the stock price. So if the stock goes up, you can make a certain amount on the stock and then you cap your gains here from the call that you sold. So you have limited profitability on the upside and unlimited risk on the downside because the 100 shares of stock can theoretically go to zero, but we don't really worry about that in today's day and age. If the market goes to zero, we probably wouldn't be around and we wouldn't have to worry about our trading account. So again, selling that call gives us a bit of a buffer. So our break even is not at the same place as the stock price. It's actually further down because of the credit we collect on that call. So when he started this process in January, 2022, he wanted to just get long the market in a semi-passive way. So a very hands-off approach. And I asked him, how much money do you want to put to work? At the time, the SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF, was trading at around 437. So to buy 100 shares of SPY and cash secure those shares, 
you would need about $43,000. And then looking at IWM, by comparison, was trading at around 197 at the time. So you would need 19,000 US dollars to cash secure those 100 shares. So we said, how much money do you want to put to work? And he said, okay, I'll do 19,000. So he funded his account with 19,000 US. He actually used Canadian dollars, but then he converted to US dollars. But he could have just as easily done this with SPY. So if we look at how did SPY do over that two-year time period, SPY gave a return of 8.8%. And how did IWM do? Since he started, it returned, it says here about a minus 2% return. It really depends on which date exactly you start and end. But basically, SPY beat IWM over this time period. But that's not the point of this video. It's not that he picked the right stock or the right market ETF. It's that he used a strategy, which was a high probability strategy strategy to beat the actual underlying that he was investing in. So you could do this with any underlying. As a beginner, I recommended to him to just choose a market ETF. Then you don't have to worry about individual company risk or anything like that. Just stick with the market ETF and use options to try and boost your probabilities and enhance your return in a very safe way. And by the way, cash securing your naked puts is a way to make sure that you will never blow up your account. You can always recover if you start with $19,000 in your account and you just sell one naked put in IWM in that account. That's called cash securing your position. So it's just a very safe way of investing. And for a beginner out there, I would definitely recommend using the same sort of method where if you want to go long the SPY, you should have $47,000. And if you want to go long IWM, you should have $19,000 to do that. That's using today's stock prices. So that's a way to get long the market in a very safe way. So you'll never blow up your account if you do it that way because you're not using any leverage in that case. You're not borrowing any money to get long the market. You're just using your own cash that you saved up. Okay, so here's the strategy that Billy Ray used to start his campaign. He started off using the regular Tasty Trade mechanics at around 45 days to expiration. Now I wrote 50 here. And that's because when you roll at 21 days to expiration, the next position you put on at that point is going to be around 50 days to expiration. So he started off with the Jade Lizard. He sold one put at around the 30 Delta. And then he sold one call at around the 30 Delta as well. And then bought a call $3 further out of the money to make a short call spread $3 wide. And he would aim to collect a dollar credit on that $3 wide call spread. So the max loss you could have on that call spread would be $2 if you're collecting $1. So for one contract, that means you're collecting $100 because the multiplier is 100 for equity options. And that means your max loss is $200 from one contract. The Jade Lizard, of course, was invented by Liz and Jenny, and I've mentioned that in previous videos. So the Zebra and the Jade Lizard are getting lots of attention as oh. amazing trades. When do you think our royalty checks are gonna come? I think tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check the mail. What I love about it is seeing it. So in all these other trading places, people are talking about the Zebras and the Jade yeah. Lizard as awesome strategies and they're breaking it down and saying it's a great trade and it's so interesting because it is totally traced back to us jenny well that's awesome so thanks for sharing that with us and we love to see it we may not be getting paid royalties on the jade lizard but it feels good to know that we created it it does we know and that's all that matters yeah. <laughs> So he started off doing this and he started rolling it at 21 days to expiration. And when we started realizing as we went through the first year was if he took a very hands-off approach and only looked at his account once per month, there actually was a risk of assignment. So when his position started losing and his short put went in the money, he actually got assigned shares. And he didn't necessarily do everything perfectly. So sometimes he missed that 21 DTE, which is always on a Friday, by the way. So then he tried to roll it instead the following week on the Monday or Tuesday. He definitely didn't do all this perfectly, but you can see his results. It didn't really matter that he didn't do it exactly perfectly. He still beat the market by a huge amount. So because he got assigned the 100 shares, that's why we decided to add on the second part of the strategy, which is whenever you get assigned the 100 shares, just sell a call at the 30 Delta in the next expiration cycle. So again, around 50 days to expiration, you would sell a call and try and roll that call at around 21 days to expiration. And by the way, there's no assignment fee in Canada. So if you're in another country, you may have to pay a few dollars when you get assigned the shares. Then what might happen, and this did happen in Billy Ray's case, was sometimes his shares would get called away. 
that would send us back over this way. The shares get called away and he would go back to the Jade Lizard. So he just kept doing this over and over. Every time he was assigned shares, he would instead switch to a covered call. And every time his shares got called away, he would then switch back to the Jade Lizard. So this is very similar to the strategy that Liz and Jenny called the Wheel of Fortune. So you just keep doing this over and over again. And your strategy is just to do high probability trades in both cases and try and beat the market. The market is just if you held the 100 shares and did nothing against them. So each time this happened, because Billy Ray's in Canada, there was no fee for getting assigned the shares and there was no fee for getting the shares called away. So the only fees he paid during this whole campaign was just a couple dollars in commission each time he rolled his position at 21 DTE. So I wanted to show a sample trade of what Billy Ray did in his account. And it turns out I already showed one of his exact trades in a previous video I did called Four Bullish Trading Strategies. So in that video, I showed a short put, a jade lizard, a short put spread, and a covered call. And the jade lizard I showed in that video was one of the exact trades that Billy Ray placed in his account on almost the exact day that I recorded that video. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. In that video, at around 4 minutes and 30 seconds, you can see here, we sold 190 put in IWM at around the 33 delta, and then we sold the 213 call, which is around the 29 delta, and then bought a call $3 away at the 216 strike at around the 23 delta. And we did that whole trade for around $6.42 credit. The probability of profit was 79%. And the risk graph shown here is very similar to the one I showed previously. In this video, I also showed the expected move cone. So that was where the market was expecting IWM to go from that point, And it was trading around 200 at the time. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. I think that's a really good video for beginners to understand what it is we're trying to do here. I can see! I can see! So one other thing I wanted to show is how do we know that this strategy will work over time? So if I go over to look back, I showed look back quite a bit in my last video called the Dr. Z Black Swan Hedge. So check that out if you haven't seen that. But if we go into this free back tester and I type in IWM as my underlying, so if I do a simulation and we look for an expiration closest to 50 days to expiration, we've got 47 DTE here. So in that expiration, I've got a trade on here already, but I'll show you how I did this. I'll clear the current trade and I'll start by selling the call side. So I'm going to sell 30 Delta call, click the bid and buy a call $3 away. So I'm selling the 201 and I'm going to buy the 204. That's $3 wide. And then I look at the credit that I'm receiving. So the credit, if you multiply it by hundred, that's $83 but I'm going to shift my strikes a little bit now to try and get closer to $100. So this one's 92. And if I go one more strike closer to the money from the 199 to the 202, I'm collecting exactly a dollar credit. So that's what I want for my call spread, collect a dollar credit times hundred is a hundred dollars. And now I'll go and sell around the 30 Delta put. So around 31 Delta is the 187 put. And now I can analyze this as a simulation. So I can look at the risk graph like I showed previously. The yellow curve is at expiration and the blue curve is today. So if I roll forward in time at expiration, the blue curve becomes the yellow curve. So that's February 29th. But if I back up to 21 days to expiration, that would be at February 8th. So you can see my profit is starting to fill that tent there. Uncle Tony likes to call it the circus tent. And that's the point of doing this trade. Over time, you're collecting premium and it's filling up your potential profit. Usually we like to close the trade early so we don't wait for it to get to its maximum profit. So if I get the probabilities on this trade on February 8th, which is 21 DTE, my probability of profit on that entire trade, all three legs is 74%. So that's a high probability trade. That's what we're aiming for. And then I can run this as a back test on the right hand side here. So the options I happen to choose here were around the 31 delta on the put, 
short the 36 delta call and long the 28 delta. So I can run a back test on that and see how it did over the last 18 years from 2006 to 2024. So it's a positive trade. The win rate over that time was actually 80%. So the profit per trade is around 25 or $26. It makes about a dollar a day. And this is using 47 days to expiration, but to be a little bit more accurate to match what we're actually doing from cycle to cycle, I would instead run this with 50 days to expiration. I'm selling approximately the 33 Delta call and buying the 26 Delta call. You can't actually select and look back a width of the strike. So I'm just approximating that with these deltas. So if I run that back test, I'm exiting early at 21 days to expiration, starting at around 50. And that trade has a positive expectancy of around $36. So it does even better than the other version with a win rate around 83%. So I think this is a really promising strategy to do over time. If you want to try and beat the market, just sell one naked put and sell a call spread against it. And if you ever get assigned on that naked put, 100 shares, and then just sell one call against those shares, that would look something like this. 100 shares selling one call at around the 30 delta at around 50 days to expiration and roll at 21 days. And you get a positive expectancy on that trade as well. So combining these two together, the Jade Lizard and the covered call, over time, you're going to make money and hopefully make more than just holding the shares. I appreciate this. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't believe it. Thank you. I don't know what to do. It's Okay, so that's how a beginner trader beat the market using options, using a Jade Lizard and a covered call and just cycling between them over the two years. He beat what the market did and he beat what I did in my own account as supposedly a more seasoned trader who's been doing this for 10 years. Karate man bruised on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. So let me know in the comments what is working for you over the last two years. And if you're a beginner investor, feel free to ask any beginner questions in the comments below and I'll make sure I respond and hopefully help you along your journey to become a winning investor. So anything in this video is not advice for how you should do anything. I'm just showing you how it worked for a beginner investor that I know personally. Good luck with your investing journey and thanks for watching.